When I was a teenager, laser pointers were a huge deal, and since I was a douchebag teenager, I managed to steal an entire box of them from a gas station. I started taking them apart and trying to transmit audio with them, and it actually worked. So then naturally, I started making laser microphones. On a clear night, I could make out sound from blocks away in Chicago, but there were a couple different problems. For example, aligning the transmitter and receiver was extremely difficult, and if you wanted to spy on somebody by, for example, demodulating the vibration of their window, you'd end up lighting up their house with a laser. So fast forward 20 years, here I am, and I've purchased a bunch of lasers again. Lasers can easily transmit audio, and there are plenty of projects online that explain how to do this in various ways. But in my experiences, the clearest transmission comes from a weak red laser into a photo transistor. I'm using powerful green lasers in this video, which do leak quite a bit of light. However, you can experience the same effect with a laser of any type, or even a strong LED light. Additionally, you can use a photodiode, infrared receiver, or solar panel for the receiver. Chances are, you already have all this stuff in your house, but instead of taking your CD players and your outdoor solar lights apart, you can also spend about 10 bucks. I think an infrared laser might be the best quality of all, and it also has the benefit of being invisible. The problem is that the infrared waveform is weak and it won't transmit audio very far, and you also run the risk of eye injury since infrared can burn your retinas without you even realizing it, since it's invisible. For my experiments over the week, I've stuck with green. It's cheap, middle of the road in terms of wavelength projection, and should be a perfect fit for a laser microphone. But let's test out that transmitter first. Yep, that's pretty clear audio. Now, I'm going to freak out my neighbors and set this up in my driveway. Inside my living room, I'm playing Night of the Living Dead at a reasonably loud volume, mostly because it's a good source of public domain audio. As we focus the laser on the front window, we have to catch the reflection. I'm now using a solar panel so it doesn't have to be as painfully precise to aim. I fear the trade-off is going to be in quality. If there's not too much light interference, and if my windows aren't vibrating too much from my HVAC, we should be able to make out what's being said in the movie. Yeah, Okay, great, but my living room is probably glowing green. It's not the most practical spying device, but I've set up this laser to do something interesting. It inverts the signal through an audio transformer, so instead of a bright laser slightly dimming to transmit the frequencies, it's just sending out incredibly fast, dim vibrations. I have a toggle switch to help aim, and once they have everything lined up, we can listen to the room without any noticeable light. Hooray! Another concept that I'd love to try, but can't afford, is using a very high-speed camera to simply take video of a laser beam on a surface such as a wall. This negates the need to line up the reflection into the receiver, and simply allows decoding of the vibrations in post by isolating the green dot. <sighs> Someday. Let's go inside. Of course, I had to try to modulate a control voltage signal through a laser. This took a bit of trickery swapping out audio transformers. What I'm going to do is run the source voltage through an attenuator into the laser. The laser will go through a small tank of water and then into a solar cell that will go into a module that is designed to protect incoming voltage signals from pedals. This will go into another attenuator and finally control modulation, gate, or pitch, or whatever I want. Now, do not ever plug a laser receiver into your modular synthesizer unless you have a good understanding of circuitry and a module that protects the incoming signal. So here we go. I'm going to spend some time patching around and affecting the modulation with black ink. Enjoy.
Hey, if you like what you saw here, remember to subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments. Thanks and goodbye.